So I've been teaching you guys the ABCs with the letter series, and today it's time to teach you guys some math with the number challenge. As in, only upgrades with numbers in their names. So starting off with zero, we've got absolute zero, and we've got ground zero. And then for one, we've got big one, and the biggest one. Now, if it just left it at little numbers, that would be the end, but I figured that would make it, well, none of variety. So we're also going to allow stuff like, well, first strike. And then for two, we're allowing double shot buccaneer, double shot ninja, and double gun engineer. And then for three, we have triple shot, and then triple guns. And then for four, we have quad darts. And then for numbers five to nine, I'm pretty sure we have nothing else, except for the hero, which is Octo Jones. Now, I know in this case, the Octo probably means octopus rather than, well, eight. But, you know, we'll allow it because heroes, I don't know, make for a more exciting time. And of course, the map is going to be the new map, not just one, not two, but three numbers. Well, if you want to be literal, two numbers, but you know what I mean. And then in terms of the game mode, there's one more number that I gotta point out. It's the double HP mobs game mode. On hard difficulty, 120 rounds because why not? Although I don't think we're gonna get it that far. Just given, taking a look at all the upgrades we have. I think the thing is round 100 might be a bit trivial, but round 120 might be uh, impossible. So we'll basically treat this as a how long can you survive type challenge. Now while we're just chilling here, I will mention that I did actually try this challenge right before the recent 34.0 update. Originally on the map 4 circles, but well, after this map was released, I figured, well, the challenge would end up being a lot more interesting on a map like this, because of, you know, special property. So unfortunately, that run's gonna go down the toilet and no one's ever gonna see it. But yeah, I did learn some valuable lessons through that run that I guess I will utilize or try to utilize to my advantage over in this one here. Now, again, of course, when I do drop a tower, it must be upgraded to that uh, numbered upgrade at some point. And since I already got the free dart monkey, I think I might as well just triple shot because it's pretty decent for the early game, right? And plus, there's like literally no other farming option, so there's nothing I can really do to greed harder other than trying to utilize, well... The discount plot of tiles uh, so uh, yeah we're gonna be pretty strapped for cash late game so we can't spam all the uh, good stuff that we want of course looking at the good upgrades we've got ground zero up to zero and then main dps is probably just gonna be biggest one the update definitely makes it interesting which cross path i want to go for five two zero or five through two i'm thinking since they bought five through two that might just be better because i know it has a worse stun but i guess maybe the aptitude can make up for that because of you know how powerful the ability is now first off let's scout out the uh, discount plot so i don't think there's any military discount sadly yeah the only military discount is on water and i guess what i could do is i could freeze the water after zero but you know i kind of want space for first strikes because remember it's double hp mobs i'm going to deal with a uh, bad which is basically an f bad well it's gotta be first strike spam nothing really nothing else really has the uh, dps for it so if possible, I'd love to wait for the jungle drums plot to land. So 18, I think, is like, what, late 50s is when I unlock? So this one is only plus one damage, with, with which with, a you know, a biggest one mortar, pretty worthless. Honestly, most military towers here are going to be worthless with a plus one late game. It's just early game really helps out. I guess I'll drop something there at least, though. So I guess rounds you can only fit one, one plane, right? Yeah. Okay, time for round 40. I... Don't think we have enough of the tank right now, since it is double HP mob, so maybe I'll add... How about another Ballistic over in this pond here? I know they're not usually meant for mob damage, but they actually do extra mob damage. I think it was like 6 or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it says in the description, but most people think of this as like balloon slash ram damage. It's not bad mob damage, though. But yeah, basically, I just want to get stuff that will be uh, useful uh, in the later game. So stuff like, I don't know. A lot of these towers here are actually just low tiers, so like double shot bow it. Uh, double gun, quad darts, mostly not going to be used. Double shot, probably not either, but actually there might be some use for it because I did take a look, or I did realize that there's actually no D camo in this uh, game. So my biggest one, Mortar, it can't pop camos, and that means DTs are going to be a big problem because I don't think Ninja Monkey can D camo DTs either. Uh, even with 320 count espionage, the counting espionage only D camos in this game if that, like, Ninja can pop said balloon. Now, it seems like I'm starting to leak to random balloons, so I don't think I can save up straight up to, like, wait for this auto land to be removed. So maybe I should just go for ground zero now. 
I mean, we could. Or alternatively, we could just go for another uh, Ballistic Missile. I mean, why not? Doesn't really matter the cross battling for them. Because I'm only really getting them for strikes late game. But yeah, how about three of them? A fourth one if, like, I still can't survive. Okay, end of 55 here. I think this unlocks. Nice, nice, nice. So let's go for it. Can't unlock the uh, biggest one cross path right away. But 402 should do some good work with that, I think. Five for an easy OT. And then, yeah. It actually wouldn't be bad to go for a ninja right now. Just because, well, DDs don't spawn. So it would definitely help for any, uh, like, camel balloon round. So, uh, I don't know, 78. But I guess by then I could probably get up a ground zero. So I don't really have to worry about that. So, yeah. If I can save the money and not buying a counter espionage, I guess I might as well. Okay, and it looks like I can afford the biggest one. No problemo. So let's get it. And yeah, that was easy, as to be expected, since we're, well, basically on an easy map. Now, again, I did mention earlier that I did do another run early on four circles that you won't see, so I do have an idea of just how the run goes. And while it is easy right now, I assure you, uh, the late game does get a little bit tense, if you know what I mean. But of course, you're going to have to wait for that if you want to see what happens later on, so... Yeah, stay tuned, I guess. So, uh, what's next? Well, yeah, let's go over the Ground Zero, because I would like it for 78. Talk about the money being perfectly there. So, we have the Ground Zero run at 78. Next point of business is probably just to go for the Absolute Zero. Now, which part of the land do I want it on? Let's just see. We can give Pierce, Pierce, uh, plus one damage, uh, attack speed, or discount. So, let's just Ground Zero this. And uh, I feel like the discount would be nice, since it is an expensive tier. Well, not an expensive tier 5, but more expensive than... Other things in this challenge, but it's also all the way at the beginning of the train. You kind of want the ice to like freeze things in the back. So I don't know. I'm actually thinking I'm leaning towards the discount because having it in the front is also not bad because this thing can actually attack ZMGs to make them a little bit slower. So if I do that, you see the ZMG did go a little bit slower. So I'm going to go on the assumption that that's more useful than having it only be in the back to catch ceramics because I guess I have, well, biggest one. Like I can spam, or sorry, big one. 420 can spam for, well, stuns. I can't go for another Ice Tower, by the way, because this is the only... Uh, well, it's Tier 5, and no other Ice things are uh, a numbered upgrade. So, uh, gonna have to leave it at that. And now for DDTs, I just realized that I actually might need more than one Ground Zero for this. Because, uh, well, I don't think one Ground Zero one-shots at all. Actually, no, we can do some damage with the uh, bombs. Because thanks to Viper Bones, or sorry, <laughs> Octo Jones... It's actually very important we have this hero because, yeah, without it, the uh, Ground Zero bombs will not be able to damage GTs. But now they can. Here are more GTs. I'll see if I can get away with just one Ground Zero here. Just let the uh, bombs do the work. Yeah. Nice. Now, for 99, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because with the Fortified GT as well, I don't know how many Ground Zeros I need to be able to pop them. But I guess we'll have to deal with 95 first. So let me see what I want to do here. I think, of course, I'll freeze it. I don't think I can wait for all DDs to be on screen, though, right? So I'll do one early freeze, okay? And then I will uh, use two GZs when all DDs spawn. And then hopefully I did enough damage to them that two first strikes, just or two ground zeros works. It should. So one now. And then one to clean up the rest. Nice. And now coming into 99, we have three ground zeros, and then, uh, yeah. I got a first strike ready for round 100. I'm not sure we're going to afford a second one. Probably not. But let's just get through 98 first as well, which should be, well... Pretty easy. That biggest one, Bernie stuff, man. Doing loads of work. And then Striker's stun, too. Alongside the AZ slow. Make sure that mobs don't get far at all. So yeah, let's see how I want to do this. Well, let's wait for all nine to spawn first, and then use after zero. They are chipping away at the DPs one little bit at a time. Maybe Wing Monkey would be nice for maybe a top left GZ. But yeah, let me just uh, unload. One, two. I need three. Nice. And I also don't have enough for a second first strike. Actually, can I sell? No, it's not enough money. With discounts, it's uh, 12.6k. I mean, I just sell this early, I guess, but damn, $200 short. I mean, I'll see if I can get away with just one first strike, because I guess the biggest one is doing some burning stuff damage, too. Again, we're basically working with a single F pad here. So, first strike number two. I think this map is long enough that I can get three first strikes off. So, there's number two. Yeah, I think this is just perfect to be able to uh, nuke the inside too. So wait for it. Come on. Don't pop yet. Bad, please. So I can get DTs. Come on. And nice. First strike just ate it up. Now it's not over because these EMGs are pretty far. 
I suppose I could use a Ground Zero for this, but I really don't want to. Let me use uh, Double Damage. Double Damage. The 2x damage does work on the Brony. And then I will save the Absolute Zero for the Ceramics. Nice. We won. Round 100. Which is kind of what I wanted initially, but of course, we'll see how long we can survive. Things definitely do start getting really interesting, though, starting these rounds, because this is just a whole different beast compared to round 100. So, uh, starting off, we have a bunch of space DDTs, which I will uh, freeze. And let's see how many uh, ground zeros it takes at the moment. I will do one. Yeah, it didn't work. Two. And three. Three just to get FDTs down, but they keep coming in, so... I might need to do some massive virus selling this round. I think since first strikes are relatively useless now, we should sell one of them. You know, to go for a fourth GZ. And I guess I have extra money to buy or sell a whole up to zero if possible. I need to sell a couple more ballistics, I think. I want to try avoiding selling the mortar. Although I don't know if that's possible or not. So yeah, let me just yeah, let me just do that real quick. So up to zero, can I get it? Yes, barely. I'll do two GZs now. Do I freeze again? Yeah, I'll freeze again for FDTs here. And then I have two GZs to work with now. Uh, I'll do one more. And another GZ. How close is the cooldown? Oh my god, it's halfway for the other ones. Is that the end of the DTs though? I think it is, so... Looks like we just need to do a little bit more about our selling. Like, yeah, maybe I'll sell the first two GZs that I dropped. Honestly, on a second thought, it might actually be better to sell the Aptitude Zero instead of the Ground Zeroes, because these are way more... Well, actually, this is more expensive, but... Selling multiple Ground Zeroes to get the ability up ends up being more costly. So maybe I'm thinking keep three GZs because I think three of them do one-shot FDs and just absolute zero spam. I might need to get like three or four of them this round. But the length of this map allows for it, I think. They see what I mean here is I want to freeze. Uh, I want to give some room here. So I'll freeze now. And then I'll just keep on freezing. So once it gets here, this is my third AZ. So I'm going to wait once more. Uh, now. And then, yeah, there's still another one coming in, so we'll just rebuy that. Actually, let me see. Can I get all of them now? Let me just do three. Yeah, okay, okay, hang on. I'm gonna redo this. Not sell the Absolute Zero a third time. Because it looks like three Absolute Zero abilities can stall every DT at once. So, let's go back. In fact, it might actually be possible to do all this without even selling any of the uh, subs, so... I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get away with that. Another freeze now, and yeah, this is my last one. And we still have enough money. Pretty optimal stuff, I gotta say, right? So let me... Uh, one last freeze. And I gotta go now, then. Yep, all three are out. Uh, are you kidding me? Hang on, hang on. How, how can I get these ceramics, guys? First rate doesn't work on them. Bruh. Actually, I just realized that, that there's a tower that I could bring into play for this round. And that would be the Counter Espionage Ninja, so I didn't use it the entire time, but... Yeah. The distraction for the ceramics, because, well, it's not a lead bloom, so... You can decamo that way. So that's cool, I guess. Didn't expect it to be round 102 that I would need it, but... Yeah, that comes in handy. So now... Yeah, we're looking a lot better. I'll tell you that the highest round I got to on the Four Circles run was 103, so... Yeah. I remember I had to get rid of everything on that round. I think the map length of 123 is certainly coming into play here. And this is good, because, yeah. God, these images are so tanky, though. They just do not want to pop. I think we've been at it, hitting it with the Bernie stuff for, like, over a minute. Only now we're finally getting it down to mobs. Let me just move it back. All we gotta do is get one Bernie shot to land on the uh, F Ceramics, and they're done. And one of three is easy. Alright, time for another very fun round. We've got lots of DTs, so... Uh, Gonna use one GZ or one AZ now, and do I need a second one? Or can I wait for all D to spawn this round? Based on how it's looking... Oh, wow. What were the ramping? Three GZs doesn't even work anymore. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can afford... Yeah, I can afford a fourth, fourth GZ just by selling the first strike, which I guess I don't need anymore. So, in the end, this is okay, but we're bleeding money, guys. So, timing. Oof. Nice. Oh, wow. Wait, there's more DTs? Uh, well, time for a third AZ then. I can't even afford it. Need to sell even more things. So there it is. Uh, and has everything spawned yet? I think so. Let's do all four now. There. I actually activated like half a second late, so I lost lives. That's fine. I won't need it though. 
Hell, even rounds like that don't have DTs are just going to push on us too. I'm trying to avoid using any grounds here with this round. Just because, again, I need it for DTs. I can't, can't afford to spare a single one. Just gotta hope the radius of the biggest one still gets ceramics. And if they do, that's nice. Alright, next DT round up for contention, 110. So how many AZs do I need for this one? So up to zero number three. And hopefully I don't need a sell for a fourth one. Okay, they all they've all spawned. Let's use all of them. Nice. Works for 110. Oh, the thing is, I don't have uh, anything for uh, the abilities up for 111. Like, say, for example, uh, I don't know. There's more DTs this round. I forget exactly. But that would be bad. Luckily, there are no DTs, so uh, that's nice. Okay, and how long are DTs on 112? One AZ. Two AZs. It's nice that I'm making money in the middle of the round. So, uh, or between rounds. And they got they fucked them out, too. So that makes it very nice. And that's it. So four GZs now. Still one shot. You know, at this rate, there's actually a chance we might make it to the bands on 119, which is pretty crazy to think about it. Gotta make sure I don't die to the ZMGs too. Going really fast at this point. Got I have to activate double attack speed or double damage on Biker. There we go. Uh, even more DDTs. At this rate, the balloons are so fast that, yeah, some DDTs are getting missed by the, uh, the permafrost of the ice ability here. So let's see, number two, I'm gonna run out of money after this third one, yikes. Number three, and uh, you gotta hope that's the last DT. Okay, I think that's the end, all? No, some Serams got through. Do I have to drop a ninja in the back? Yeah, there's just no more money left, guys. I think I just have to uh, sell my biggest one. I'm out of things to sell. One more, two, three, four. Oh, that's, oh wait, we got it. Oh wow, we just got lucky, okay. Okay, somehow we live to see another round against all odds. And I definitely remember these rounds, 117, 118, having lots of DTs. Now, they are a bit less clumped in that, or more clumped. So I only need maybe two after two. Or maybe just one this round. Let me just see. Oh, I can get away with one. Okay, that's good. That's good. So let me just die here and reset. Only bad news is that I don't think four GZs works, but I uh, will just try and see. So watch this, guys. Yeah, with ramping, they they have a bit of HP left now. Mm. All right, I think I got to go for my fifth GZ, guys. There's just no other choice around here. Luckily, because of that, I can keep the aptitude this round. Only use one ability. Like, for example, I'll wait now. And then I'm going to wait for the fifth one to come up cooldown, and then... Bam, 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 bam. There it is. But I think we're just straight up dead now because... Uh, yeah, they're off cooldown, guys. Actually, no, no, I can stall. I can stall. Yeah, I don't know why it was over, or thought it was over. I can just use as many aptitude zeros until uh, ground zero is up. I think maybe two more, and then we're there. Yeah, yeah, I think one more ability here, and then we got it. So, five. Bad news, we got uh, a bunch of ZMGs. So, I think from here, I'll get back the biggest one, right? Yeah, because I don't need these GZs anymore, because 119 is a thing. So, something like that. We're pretty, pretty much going all in here, guys, for the very end here. It's been a long journey. Just gotta make sure we can clean up the balloons here. I'm not even gonna use the double damage so I can save it for the pads, okay? I could probably try to charge up first right cooldowns, but I don't think there's time at this at this point. I'll use one GZ, actually. Uh, do I need another one? No, we're good. Okay, nice. 119. We made it. So I'm pretty sure we have zero shot, but I'm just curious, okay? How close do we actually get? Because there's three of them. We need way too many... Uh, First strikes, and I'm pretty much out of money. So I think we can chalk this down as, uh, yeah, the end. But again, I think it was impressive enough that we even got to uh, this far, uh, this deep in the first place. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that wonderful gameplay. And if you liked it, then why don't you leave a like for that tense action? See, so yeah, again, yeah, no chance here. So uh, GG to 119. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other ideas for theme challenges, then uh, let me know. Otherwise, have a 00100 day.